Hello everyone, this is C.S. Dinesh Gaur, Practicing Company Secretary from Delhi. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the impact of the budget 2021 on MCA version MCA 21. As we know, in the budget 2021, our Omnival Finance Minister announced about MCA 21 version 3.0. In continuation of the same, Ministry of Corporate Affairs has issued a press release on the 5th February 2021. In that press release, they have uh, they have mentioned the, some new features of the MCA version 3.0. First and most important thing, as per that press release, MCA 21 version 3.0 will be launched in financial year 2020-21. We are in financial year 2020-21. This financial year is going to be end on 31st March 2021. Almost one and a half month is uh, there to end financial year 2020-21. So as for that press release, in next one and a half month till 31st March 2021, Ministry will launch MCA 21 version 3.0. Now what is the purpose behind this change in version of MCA 21? The first purpose, e-governance project of Government of India. Government of India is working on the e-governance project and this is part of the, uh, this amendment in version is part of that. Promote ease of doing business. This version 3.0 will help to ease the business of the corporates. Easy data exchange between two regulators. And for this version 3.0 ministry using the new technologies. They are using the new technologies with version 3.0 which will help in ease of doing business, e-governance and the conduct the compliance with the MCA 21. So uh, let's discuss one by one the features and the important of uh, points of the MCA version 2.0. First point is e-scrutiny. Now MCA is in the process of setting up a central security cell. This central security cell will scrutinize all the state through process file e-forms by the corporates to MCA 21 and flag the companies in more depth security. So this security cell, this central security cell will check all the STP, all the forms filed in the STP mode. STP mode we know straight through process mode. If a form is filed in the STP mode, it is directly approved without any interference of the government. So now they are creating a team, central security cell, which will examine this e-form which will examine these e-forms and uh, if there will be any discrepancy in the e-form they will issue the notices to the corporate so now as a professional as a corporate we have to be more careful while filing the form with the mca 21 second feature is e-adjudication as we know ministry have already uh, notified the section 454 of the companies act 2013 that is relating to the e-adjudication in 2019 itself, Ministry have um, started the e-adjudication for late filing of the forms and other offense in the uh, other offense in the Companies Act. So now in this e-adjudication in MCA version 3.0, they will issue the electronic notice. They will conduct the electronic hearings with the stakeholder for the default made by the companies. So now we have to be very careful for filing of the form within due date. If companies file form after due date then they can receive the e-adjudication notice from the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Third amendment that is relating to the chat box complaint system. As we know, there is an option on the MCA website to raise complaints whenever there is any issue by the, with the stakeholders through the MCA website. But now they are coming with the chat box system. Additionally, MCA World 21 version 3.0 will have a cognitive chat box. Enable help desk, mobile apps, interactive user dashboard, enhance user experience using the technology and seamless data dissemination through. So this will help me job, uh, whenever we are having any issues in the MCA website, any query, we can use this, this app, this chat box for resolution of those queries also. Another fourth amendment, fourth feature of this website is uh, we can say e-consultation. On time to time, Ministry came with the amendment in the rules, amendment in the act. For that purpose, they issued the draft rule, draft uh, sections on their site and asked for the comments from the professional and the corporate. Now they are coming with the electronic system for the consultation with the professional and the corporates for amendment and for their suggestion on the draft rules and all. 
Another and the most important amendment is compliance management system, CMS. CMS will assist the MCA in identifying non-compliant companies, LLPs, and issuing the electronic notice to set defaulting companies and LLPs. So now Bridget is going for the checking of the electronic checking of the compliance of the companies and LLP and will issue the electronic notice. So this CMS system, compliance management system, will give the warning alerts for the internal user of the MCA. So we can say CMS will CMS will serve as a technology platform for conducting the rule-based compliance checks and undertaking and forward drive of MCA when E or notice will be issued by the MCA. So we can say as per this press release, this MCA 21 version 3.0 will came into effect almost till end of this financial year, that is 31st March 2021. After in, uh, implementation of this version 3.0, once it notified, once it came into effect, professional and the corporate have to be very careful while filing the, of their e-form, while compliance with the provision of the Companies Act and LLPs Act, because ministry is coming with the new new system like e-scrutiny, e-adjudication, compliance management system, for different, different criteria they are choosing. So we have to be very careful about the compliance of the corporate law. If you want to read the complete write-up on this uh, particular topic, you can message us on WhatsApp 8130657778. Further, for the watching of regular videos on the amendment in corporate law, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.